Many years ago I tried to build my very own pedal board, and powering my pedals with a daisy chain cable wasn't an option. I had uh, one device that couldn't stand ground loops and it always created a uh, high pitch noise uh, when I powered it with a daisy chain cable. So to eliminate this I purchased the cheapest power supply that I could find, the Harley Benton power plant. But this didn't solve my problem. I figured out that, uh, technically speaking, Harley Benton power plant is nothing but a daisy chain in a huge box. So I made the whole episode about this. And soon enough uh, this video became the most uh, viewed uh, video that's regarding this uh, Harley Benton power plant power supply. And a lot of people uh, thought that I'm uh, some kind of expert uh, in terms of uh, power supplies. And I've got a lot of questions. But basically I reviewed only the gear that I was familiar with. And I don't buy gear just uh, to review it only. And soon enough uh, Doman released another uh, power supply that was halvenically isolated. And basically two models. The uh, Harley Benton power plant ISO 1 Pro and uh, ISO 2 Pro. Because I needed uh, a couple of 12 volt outputs, uh, I purchased the ISO 2 Pro. And this was uh, the best uh, power supply under 100 euro. And I knew that a lot of people would ask uh, what do I think about the other model, the ISO 1 Pro. So I put a threshold uh, and uh, 20,000 views. If uh, this video hits uh, 20,000 views, so I'll make another review about ISO 1 Pro. But before my video got uh, this much views, uh, Toman released a couple of more uh, power supplies of uh, ISO series. So I thought, why not to review all of them? So here it is, ISO 1 Pro, ISO 5 Pro and the huge monstrosity, the ISO 12 Pro. Let's take a look at them closely. All the units of the power plant ISO series look pretty much identical. The only difference is in the amount of the outputs. The ISO 1 Pro has 8 outputs with 9 volt 500 mA each. And this is pretty much standard for the most majority of the storm boxes. The ISO 5 Pro is pretty much the improved version of the power plant junior. You have only 5 outputs for minimalistic pedal boards. If you ask me why would you pay 20 euro more to buy ISO 5 Pro instead of power plant junior? Well, ISO 5 Pro has three advantages. First of all, you can plug it to the power from 100 up to 240 volt uh, with uh, 50 or 60 Hz. Basically, you can use it worldwide. Second thing, ISO 5 Pro has two switchable outputs where you can choose between uh, 9, 12 and 18 volts. And the third thing, the 9V outputs uh, provide 300mA each and the switchable outputs provide 500mA each. Unlike the power plant junior who provides only 120mA for each output. So if you have power hungry storm boxes and some of them require more than 9V, you can easily use 5 Pro. And of course we have a huge monstrosity, the ISO 12 Pro. As the name says, it has 12 outputs. Three of those are switchable. You can choose between 9, 12 and 18 volt, and the rest of them are on the 9 volt outputs. The 9 volt provide 300 mA each and switchable outputs provide 500 mA each. And the best part, the price of each power supply is still a two digit number. All the units are powered with external power supply. The power supplies of ISO 1 Pro, ISO 2 Pro and ISO 5 Pro are identical. The power supply of ISO 12 Pro is uh, slightly different because uh, the main unit uh, requires 3 amperes, unlike the other units that require 2 amperes. And of course everyone expects that I disassemble all the units uh, to look inside like I did with ISO 2 Pro. So let's do it. And of course I'm not able to disassemble them completely, but I can see that the uh, circuits are pretty much identical. 
So let's test it with the multimeter. And even though my camera had hard time to stay in focus, you can pretty much see that uh, the central pins are not connected to each other, so this uh, clearly isn't daisy chain in the box. So do I have to mention that it will pass the noise test? And if you've been watching my video about Harley Benton ISO 2 Pro up to the end, you probably know that I promised to give away the ISO 1 Pro to one of my subscribers. Well, but ever since I reorganized my pedal boards and I got a couple of more devices uh, that I was supposed to, to review, I guess I keep a couple of uh, devices that uh, matches the needs of my pedal board the most and another two will be given away. And I guess I'll give them away to my Patreon uh, uh, supporters. Because, let's face it, if there wasn't uh, for them I wouldn't be able to make this show. I can't rely on uh, YouTube monetization uh, anymore ever since the terms and conditions of YouTube uh, has been changed. So, thanks uh, you guys on Patreon, you are the best. And of course, uh, I can see uh, questions about what do I think about uh, the modular power uh, supplies from Harry Benton. Well, and I guess this is all up to you. I don't really need another uh, power supplies, so if you want to review on those, uh, either I get 20,000 views on this video, or I get 1,000 subscribers, or I get enough uh, Patreon supporters, so I can uh, actually review the uh, modular power supplies from Harley Benton. And I guess that's all for today. Have a nice day. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and keep on rocking!